Yeah, uh, hi guys, I'm Mr. Paul, and today we're looking at A2 Biology Chapter 15 Coordination. Huh? Now, um, today we're looking at something called uh, sliding filament theory. Huh? Okay, uh, or in other words, in A2, we just call it contraction of muscles. Okay, how does your muscles actually contract? All right. Okay, we're looking at how does your muscles actually contract, uh? yeah? So, last time we learned, okay, last time we learned, uh, uh, meaning if you were in high school, we learned that, oh, as long as one contract, one relax, we are able to carry out a movement, okay? Actually, there's something beneath it which we call sliding filament theory, uh? Uh, but, but, we normally don't use that much in A levels, to be frank. Huh? Okay, to understand muscle contraction, we first have to look at muscle itself. Let's zoom into how the muscle fiber actually looks like. Huh? So, if I were to take out the muscle here, okay, let's say this is a muscle fiber. Let's say this is a muscle fiber. Okay, we enlarge. Okay, from here, this is a muscle fiber. We enlarge and further enlarge. Now, uh, these are the components that you must know. You must know. Uh. First of all, in the muscle fiber, there are a lot of myofibrils. All these are myofibril. Okay. The outermost layer of the muscle fiber, we call it sarcolemma. This is actually the membrane. This is actually the membrane that holds all the myofibril. Sarcoplasmic reticulum, okay, the sarcoplasmic reticulum, the one in yellow. Okay, all these are now the one in green, uh, sarcoplasmic reticulum. Yeah, they, they are basically made up of vesicles huh? and they actually uh, release, they actually release calcium ions uh, during contraction, during contraction. Huh? Okay. If not, they are storing the ions, huh? the calcium ions. Yeah, uh, right at the center here, all these are called key tubule, key tubule. Okay. Yeah, the vesicles is to store uh, calcium ion. Eh? That is the key tubule. Okay, now in the myofibril, in the myofibril, it consists of thick filament which we call myosin, and also thin filament which we call actin. Eh? Yeah, this is called the M line. Okay, M line. Uh, Zach line, we have seen this before in uh, AS, AS. And one Zach line to another Zach line is known as a sarcomere. Okay? Again, if you are not too sure still, uh, this is a myofibril. It consists of what? Thick filament, thin filament. What do we call thick filament? Myosin, thin filament, actin. Okay? Myosin and actin. Uh. Okay. Yeah, myofibril. The membrane is called sarcolemma. The fluid, the fluid in the muscle fiber, the myofibril, is called sarcoplasm. Sarcoplasm, eh? and of course the rest here, the one in orange should be mitochondria. All these are mitochondria. Okay. Plasmic reticulum, the one in light blue, whitish light blue, and the uh, a bit grayish purplish structure. This is called T tubule. T tubule, huh? Okay, uh, revision, huh? We have learned this before. We have learned this before, huh? Myofibril consists of uh, thick filament. Myosin, thin filament, actin, uh, and all these make up something called light, light band and dark band. 
or in other words, A band, I band. Okay, uh, dark band is A band, light band, I band. So, as you can see here, uh, this part is what we call the dark band, or in other words, A band, while the one with actin only, we call it light band, light band, I band. And this is what I was mentioning earlier. Now, in A band, or dark band, they are the same. Huh? So, whether, okay, in dark band, there's a H zone and inside H zone got M line. Again, this whole thing is called dark band. In dark band, got H zone, inside got M line. Uh, as for light band, they only have Z line. They only have Z line. So, if I were to take out this entire structure here from the myofibril, this is what we will be learning in order to learn muscle contraction. Muscle contraction, yeah? Okay, just have a look at this first. Uh, all these are myosin molecules. Basically, they are made up of two things. Uh, the myosin head as well as the tail. Myosin head as well as the tail. Huh? If you have my notes, this would be on page. Uh, 15, page 15. Huh? Okay, so this is myosin. Okay, let's take out uh, thin filament. Huh? Thin filament. Guys, this is how thin filament looks like if you have done in uni. Huh? Uh, how many main parts are there? Answer is three. There are three main parts. Huh? Number one, actin chain. Uh, one chain, two chain. Then there's also something called tropomyosin filament and also troponin. Okay, these three make up the structure for actin filament. Alright, and this is also on page 13. Everything is there. The entire uh, diagram is there in your notes. Okay. Okay, one more thing before we start. You see, not easy eh, to learn uh, muscle contraction. In other words, uh, sliding filament theory. Okay, so, now guys, you have to understand neuromuscular junction, but I think it shouldn't be an issue for you guys. Huh? Now, neuromuscular junction refers to the junction, refers to the junction between neurons and muscle. Very direct. What's neuromuscular junction? The junction between neurons and the muscles. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is very this is very clear cut. Huh? Uh, the this is the neuromuscular junction. Why? Neuron, muscle. Neuron, muscle. So neuromuscular junction. Okay. Okay, let's start. Uh, uh, how, let's say exam asks you, uh, how does muscle contraction occur? This is how you explain. Okay, let's start. Now, first point, impulse arrives at neuromuscular junction. Okay, impulse arrive, neuromuscular junction. Vesicles will move towards presynaptic membrane, rupture, and release acetylcholine, ACH. Release acetylcholine. Acetylcholine will bind to the sarcolemma. Okay? They will bind to what we call the sarcolemma, which is the membrane of the myofibril. Depolarization occurs, action potential is generated meaning impulse is generated. This impulse, as you can see, it moves to T-tubule and then sarcoplasmic reticulum to stimulate the releasing of calcium ions. 
Okay, I'm sure you are lost by now, huh? so let's go through again. Huh? Okay, first point, impulse arrive at neuromuscular junction. Synaptic vesicles move towards presynaptic membrane, rupture and release acetylcholine. Acetylcholine bind to sarcolemma, depolarization, action potential generated. Now guys, where does it go to next? The T-tubule. Okay, so action potential move towards T-tubule and then to the sarcoplasmic reticulum. This will stimulate the releasing of calcium ions into the sarcoplasm. Guys, again, sarcoplasm is the fluid in the muscle, fluid in the myofibril. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Eh? Okay, take out the actin and myosin. Okay, take out the actin and myosin. Now, Imagine uh, last time in high school, whether uh, I think most of you SPM level, uh, uh, SPM, we learn, oh, uh, so bicep contract, tricep relax, then arm bend. But now, no, we zoom into how the muscle look like, and somehow we are looking at the basic unit, which is actin, myosin. Yeah? Okay, so now these are the, uh, the calcium ions released just now by the sarcoplasmic reticulum. Huh? Yeah, I think slightly over halfway through only. Huh? Okay, so uh, guys, calcium ions will bind to troponin. Calcium ions bind to troponin, activate troponin, and displace tropomyosin. Displace means move, move the tropomyosin. Huh? If you realize, the binding sites are now exposed. Binding sites are now exposed. Okay. Okay. At the moment, myosin head is considered to be in low energy state. The moment ATP bind. And it is hydrolyzed. Okay, uh, guys, we learned this before in the topic of respiration. Huh? When we break down ATP, we get ADP, phosphate, and energy. So what you're looking at here is okay, just now ATP, after breakdown, we get ADP, and this is the phosphate. Where's the energy? In the myosin head already. So now myosin head has high energy configuration. Myosin head will then bind to the bind to the binding sites. And uh, an ecto myosin cross bridge is formed. Ecto myosin cross bridge is formed. This this bridge, huh? this bridge is formed. Now, power stroke occurs, meaning, meaning uh, as the energy is used up, the myosin head is now back to low energy state. Okay, this will cause the head of myosin to pull the actin and therefore actin slide on top of the myosin. You, you need not see this, you can straight away say actin slide on top of the myosin. That's why they call it uh, sliding filament theory. It means actin slide on the myosin. Eh? Okay, uh, same thing. Eh? ATP hydrolyzed. Now the head is in high energy configuration. So this will cause this will cause power stroke to occur means it will pull it will pull uh, and then the same thing repeats the same thing will repeat huh? okay, it will be repeated many times and ultimately finally uh, I band shortened 
H zone shorten, A band unchanged, and sarcomere shorten. Now, you see, uh, you have been studying Bayo for, I, I believe, easily uh, four years. Uh, uh, four, four years, uh, four years, four years. I think, sorry, three, yeah, four years. Uh, uh, example, uh, if you started in, let's say, Form 3, Form 4, Form 4, Form 5 Biology, then AS, and then now A2. So, three and a half to four years, uh, three and a half years, three and a half years. Uh. So, if you just read this, let me ask you one question. Do you remember it after, let's say, half an hour, one hour? Uh, some of you, most of you will say no. Or maybe some of you will say, sir, after two minutes, then I also forget already. Uh. Uh, why? Because the visual is not there. The visual is not there. Uh, you Okay, visual means this. Uh, in order for you to understand whatever I'm saying here. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, one more point. Uh, so after, after the active slide on the myosin, at one point, calcium will detach from troponin. Calcium ions detach from troponin. Okay, and returns back to the sarcoplasmic reticulum. Okay. This one not so bad, that ratchet. Anyway, anyway, uh, this is called a ratchet mechanism. Uh, just in case you need to know. Uh. This is called a ratchet mechanism. Okay, why all this occur? In order for you to understand. Okay, I have labeled everything super clearly for you guys. Yeah, Just have a look. When muscle contraction occur, or when uh, sliding of filament occur, Okay, check on. Uh. Eye band how? Eye band is here. Eye band, shorten. Can you see? Eye band, shorten. H zone, initially like this. Now also shorten. But A band. A band means dark band. Dark band, unchanged. Okay? Alright? Yeah, so guys, this is what you need to know for uh, muscle contraction in A2. Uh, if you have my notes, make sure make sure you go through. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, if you are unsure, still you can go through my video one more round just to make it clear. Okay. All right. Thank you. Cheers.